Hi, my name is Byung Jun Kim. I'm a professor of the public administration at Kungmin University. I'm glad to have a lecture on this topic of the key issues and the strategy for the successful implementation of the digital policy. Uh, today's lecture is a focus on digital policy itself and the regulatory reform. This chapter introduced what is the key issue of and the strategies for the successful implementation of digital policies and regulatory reform in Korea. The Korean experience in the era of the digital transformation, how we can uh, overcome the challenges related to the regulatory issue and how we can these efforts to make the link to the national developments. And particularly, these areas are evolving in a new circumstance because of the COVID-19 pandemic. So let's look at the, what we can overcome these challenges and also how we can make the very important baseline for regulations, regulatory frameworks for the, in Korea, I mean, for the development in Korea. This course objective, as you can see that, start from the key issues, key strategies, and lesson from the Korean cases, and the policy consideration, and the future directions. So the structure is very simple. We will talk about some of the background of the challenges, and then how we can develop the policy strategies. Policy strategies will be using, utilizing the Korean example. Then after summary side, we're going to a little bit longer uh, discussion so how we can um, understand these challenges. And I mean, because of the, without the, uh, some of the reform effort, probably we cannot overcome in current challenges so, such as a pandemic and then digital transformation. Uh, digital transformation itself is a, can be the very good opportunity to we can get some benefit out of this opportunity. But at the same time, if we couldn't uh, take these advantages from the digital transformation, probably we couldn't get any uh, further development for the country. So let's look at the first, what is the background of these challenges. Uh, Korea right now is one of our leading countries, one of our top e-government countries in the world. But uh, uh, look at the, our history of the development of the e-government. We saw that what is the, how much importance of the legal framework. Because it, uh, many people thought that e-government is uh, quite uh, related to technology issue. But uh, te technology is not the core thing. Actually, core thing is the governance or legal system. So how we can design to fit this existing offline administrative environment into these uh, online or the new with the new emerging technology. We can say that this is a sort of a systemic re-adjustment uh, for kind of new e-government environment or digital transformation. So how we can promoting legal system to uh, adjusting to readjusting to pushing away, oh, ahead with the, this e-government uh, uh, project and policies. So as you can see that, interestingly, Korea is one of the top leading countries, but regulation side is we are very vulnerable or lower rank country. We have a very regulatory barrier is very high. As you can see that even we are higher, very restrict to compared to the China or Egypt. So we are, people thought that we are very advanced, and, but our uh, legal system is so-called positive regulatory framework is a quite important, I mean, very uh, negative in our, and a very imp uh, crucial problem um, right now. So we are really make a lot of effort to change it from the positive regulatory framework to the negative uh, regulatory framework. The negative reg uh, regulatory framework is quite of a, uh, pr uh, bring the, uh, the uh, benefit on especially this uh, digital transformation and digital governments. Uh, for example, here there is a one of a very uh, highly uh, resistance uh, area is uh, medical sector in Korea. For example, telemedicine is become common in Europe and United States, and then transforming uh, healthcare landscape 
even in China or other many countries, they're using very uh, actively uh, embracing the telemedicine. But Korea, the tele-technology is uh, very uh, uh, developed, but uh, we are still stuck in the pilot stages and we couldn't uh, use it because uh, that is a regular regulation issue. So, so right now, we, uh, from the 2019, we will, we made a strategic uh, approaches to overcoming that pro resistance and then problem. So we are say that approval first and then regulate later. So for the developed, especially in the uh, new industry and new technology, we will drastically make a transition to comprehensive negative regulation system. Positive list regulation means only listed item be allowed and then other item is not allowed, excluded. So Korea system is, for example, in 2001, Korea e-government act is one of the good uh, registration to promoting and develop the e-government. That's why we enjoyed the later 2010 uh, consecutively three times th from the 2010 to 2014 is a link number one in the e-government and in, uh, in the U UN's uh, evaluation of the uh, e-government. E but we, are, our approach legal framework is a positive risk regulation. That's why whoever has a very new idea, new innovative approaches is not allowed. But uh, compared to the positive regulation framework, negative uh, regulatory framework we call negative list regulation listed item not in not be allowed except that everything is allowed means some of them item is probably we prohibit we restrict because there's a side effect or a negative effect to the uh, to the society is so very uh, huge and very bad so that's why we uh, uh, we're going to kind of restrict it those uh, items, but except that item, we can allow it to the other uh, items. That means we are allowed it to the very creative idea to new, uh, uh, you know, uh, I mean, effort to make the some of the uh, new uh, industry and technologies. That's why a negative uh, list regulation system is a very uh, benef uh, beneficial to the uh, for the development of the new uh, digital transformation and digital uh, e-government. So our comprehensive negative list regulation system is because uh, so far we are very uh, uh, stick with the uh, positive system. That's why we have uh, some of the transition uh, effort. One of them is, uh, is a flexible registration and then the other is regulatory sandbox. Flexible registration means Whoever we make the negative list and then define the com comprehensive concept and then make the flexible uh, classification system. That's why uh, whatever we have a negative list, except that uh, negative list, other things so we can allow it. But uh, we are still very uh, stick on to the positive system to later, ex for example, like exports evaluation and, and management. So our uh, uh, make them flexible to uh, include it, those uh, efforts is really well matched with the, what our goal or not, so we make that flexible registration system. And the other side is we uh, make the, some of the exceptions, so especially in the new industry under some condition, in spite of the whatever current regulation we are kind of allowed it. So first, there's a three step. One step is a prompt to check for regulation first. So because of the regulations, new industry and new technology couldn't uh, work, then we make the temporary permission. So make or make a special cases. That's why we can see the uh, some of us somehow change our uh, regulatory framework from the positive system to the negative system. So this comprehensive negative list regulation system recently uh, we uh, uh, introduced in our system. So that's why we are still quite of uh, ongoing and we are kind of transition area. So uh, that's why we have a, a number of a very uh, uh, good example uh, such as like a mobile driver license or management patients with wearable uh, um, e-cardiograph 
So this is make a, through the special cases, uh, 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 regulatory sandbox, or uh, mobile e-notification system uh, with the partnership with the you know, private sector is a temporary permissions and also sharing economic accommodation services is on other special cases. So you can see that main uh, approaches with the prompt check make a special case or temporary permission. So this is system support to, to how market, uh, even there's an existing law and regulation is blocked it, but uh, do, within this regulatory sandbox they can do. It is not uh, harm for the others. So that's why we can make uh, some of a benefit out of it. So these uh, supported uh, example like uh, uh, cases, uh, one is a, a mobile e -not notice services for administrative and public institution uh, notice based on text messaging or smart IoT uh, electronic vehicle charging outlet. It's, uh, this is quite a new idea. They have, a, they feel like a, there's a public data, that's why using the public data is a better, uh, some notification system will be very, uh, every citizen can uh, enjoy the, that benefit. And also new emerging uh, technologies, but uh, because of the lack of the, some uh, basic needs for the new technologies, we uh, asking for a, a temporary permission, and then we can enjoy it. That's why we can make a, some of a better uh, increasing the market size, and we uh, spreading the more prevailing the out uh, the benefit of the, this new new uh, you know challenges and new I mean new innovative ideas. So uh, regulatory sandbox is a really uh, uh, essential for this uh, policy strategic for to change the regulatory reform in Korea. And also, uh, there probably uh, with the example, the more uh, you can understand well. So here is a two example. First example, uh, how these uh, you know uh, ICT regulatory sandbox changes our lives. The first one is let's say there is a Mr. Kim. His name is a uh, uh, Mr. New Kim, uh, living in the Sejong city. Sejong city is a uh, administrative capital in Korea. He purchased a, a electronic vehicle after selling the old his old car through the service offering the comparison for scrapping car. Actually, in Korea, scrapping is really uh, regulatory, uh, you know, uh, things. But uh, through the regulatory sandbox, the whenever because uh, Korean current reg, uh, regulation is uh, whoever get the permission, but uh, that. Uh, whoever to want to scrapping the car in the uh, business, they have to have own facility. But uh, that is uh, uh, taking longer time. But uh, and also there's a uh, depending on the site, their prices are different. So some of them uh, uh, the entrepreneur here, we uh, make the some of the online uh, business uh, joins uh, auto. They even they don't have a real facility, but uh, whoever scrapping car facility, these uh, uh, new uh, venture com uh, companies to uh, using the data information to comparing the price and then make a better services to the users. This is one of the example for sa regulatory sandbox. And then Mr. Gim and use a smart charging station inside of the uh, his apartment parking lot before it's not uh, allowed it, but uh, through the regulatory sandbox he can has a uh, that facility in near his uh, life, uh, his place. And then Mr. Kim recently lost his driver license uh, car, but he has a mobile uh, driver license. That's why in his smartphone, that's why they don't have any problem. He, he doesn't have any problem. Also, Mr. Kim is planning to visit police station as he's uh, received a new uh, driver license very quickly. Uh, and also he can uh, also notification your license is uh, re, uh, renewal the new license is uh, arrive in the place so this this story one day you know mr kim can do because of the he get the benefit of out of the regulatory sandbox uh, the secondary example another mr lee I, his name is ict lee went for the sudden business trip to seoul for 3 days and then Mr. Lee paid for home services through the mobile app and was able to book a house near Gangnam Station at a cheap price using an app recommended by the colleague. And also, the uh, last day of his business trip, Mr. Lee used a shared tax, taxi apps, uh, app 
an application can, could cheaply and quickly arrive at the Seoul station uh, uh, despite of the evening rush hour. So it is another new idea how they can uh, share the taxi fare, uh, fee. And the taxi provided location and price information in real time on the, on the app with many user expression satisfaction. So it is another kind of glimpse uh, or uh, snapshot of the Mr. Lee get a uh, benefit out because of the regular sandbox is uh, changed our positive regulatory framework to the negative framework. So this new idea is allowed to, is, but that's why uh, individual citizens enjoy that uh, regulatory reform. So uh, main contents of the framework registration should be there's a basic principle and the basic principle understand and then we also understand how we can make the intelligence uh, information utilized for that negative system and then we also uh, also countermeasure any uh, uh, challenges and problem and no ethical standard and then how we can uh, we can protections uh, and then some so we have to allow the kills uh, kill switch. So some of the very uh, uh, unexpected uh, negative, uh, you know, uh, things happen, we can stop it, those, uh, uh, you know, you know, problems. So kill switch is very important. So the legal issue is uh, at the same time so the promoting to new things, but at the same time we have to protect, make the secure, the, have to make the, develop the sec uh, uh, safety net. So that is a very important to make the balances. So that's why these legal, legal issues always kind of uh, make the balances for f these areas of finance, law, taxation, distribution, administration. For example, maybe uh, labor uh, replacement because of the robots. Then we make the robot tax to uh, to because of that taxation, so we can uh, better training opportunity to labor, so they can do the uh, creating the quality new jobs to make the balances with the uh, robot replace the routine jobs, something like that. So this is not only for the one area; this is lots of uh, different areas. So we you can see that example here. Uh, so that's why we have to holistic view. That holistic view is probably not in the one day we come up with it. We actually, especially over the time, and then especially Korea experience is like, looked like this. We are experiencing very uh, kind of new and listen, uh, I mean, very emerging experience means that since 16, uh, 1960s, uh, I can say that 1967, we have a first IBM computer in the administrative uh, sector. So like a public sector government in using that technologies right after military coups. This at that time is very technocratic and then Korea bureaucrats appointed and then this is only for them. It is actually not really distance from the city. I mean, this is not really uh, for the citizens. This is quite distant from the citizen. And then this is, there's so, something, there's a little to the uh, accountability toward the citizens. But uh, 1980s, there's a, some, some of the democratic movements, protests. We are really, uh, government is a small and efficient government, downsizing workforce productivity, and then more customized and then responding to the citizens' needs. That's why it is, it is started to start from the e-government era. So we have uh, some of the, uh, throughout the stages, we kind of uh, developed the digital, digital policies and e-governments at the global level. We are top leading countries. Then right now, we are, we are the, the demands of new digital uh, uh, and the policy reform for the next generation. So it is a s historical, so we, we can see that this is a, not the one day things. Over uh, the times, we have uh, many events and experience to develop so our own uh, uh, strengths and weakness that we want to reduce the weakness and then in, uh, enhance the, our strengths. So uh, digital policy regulatory reform is a holistic view. It is a kind of a, how we can see that the performance, capacity, leadership, governance, policies, tool, technologies, and the management uh, uh, approaches, all these holistic perspective to develop our own uh, uh, strategies. So in conclusion, our government, I mean, the Korean government has uh, right now said the 
facing the new challenges and new changes. And then the especially new digital New Deal technology, we are have a 10 major projects focusing on the initiative to these changes. And then also these cha challenges, not only for the digital industry, but uh, uh, kind of digital enabled green industry to win, make the win-win relationship. So holistic uh, approaches not only for the uh, uh, regulatory legal framework, institutional part, also the uh, the, the industry and uh, other parts. So we are we are make the holistic to uh, to balance it between the tr digital transformation and then regulatory reform. So Korea government cases could be the very good example how digital technologies key successful uh, for the future lower carbon green digital industry. And then these, these to also increase how the chance to success in the digital public policy government to reform to with this effort, eventually uh, we can also make the digital economy developments. So this transparent uh, government system and also with the very uh, digitally uh, armed it, uh, negative uh, regulatory framework is more opportunity to industry side and the private sector and also the uh, many citizens they make the, their own voice to make uh, some of the services toward the citizens uh, toward the government's citizens and the, uh, the uh, private sector partnerships so the, the, the I, I would like to say that current regulatory framework in Korea kind of changes transforming from the newer comprehensive negative listed regulatory system. So we make the very detailed roadmap and then spread this many uh, successful cases. We expanded the cases. Eventually, we can uh, achieve the, what we expected than before. So uh, I would like to say that we are in the transition period. So our experience will be very uh, good example for the other countries. So our experience experience will be uh, can be the good lesson for your countries and hopefully especially we are uh, experiencing the pandemic and then uh, after pandemic there's a post pandemic and the digital transformation era how we can uh, better system for a government uh, regulatory fr framework we can discuss together uh, how we can globally we can uh, make a, a good solution together. So uh, we will keep continue to discuss these things, and then whatever you have any questions, you can uh, make a comments and question in the, our uh, website, and then we will continue to discuss. Thank you very much.